What's good, boy? Yeah, <laughs> is this your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior? I'm back again, day 25 of this 30 for 30 plow forward to the open display. Listen, it's been a long day, but God is still good, and this word. Mm, has been so heavy on me. He, the, the Father was ministering to me in this word all while I slept. So when I got up and I got to work, I had to write down what it is that I was hearing in the spirit. And because ever since day 22, there's been a press for these videos. They've been getting cut off. I've been having to repeat them three times. I have what I need to say written down. So first I'm gonna talk about the pattern the Father outlined to me he showed me that day 22, and on my nose here, that's what y'all see me looking at. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Then the next day, day 23, he said, trust the process. Then day 24, finish the race. Day 25, he's saying, your territory is endless. And I love how the father moves because your territory is endless comes from Joshua 1 and 3. And Joshua 1 and 3 is the fourth scripture out of the 71 scriptures you'll find in my prophetic devotional. He teaches me to war with my hands, a journey to reclaim your victory. But I love how the Father brought it back to the beginning. And I just know that he's doing something so amazing. So let me get to this word. I have it written. Y'all forgive me. Joshua 1 and 3. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. And the prophetic title attached to this is your territory is endless, but the father stepped it up this morning. What I heard him say is full rain blessings. Full rain blessings. Now let me read what I wrote. The father is shining his face upon his children and his glory has risen and his restoration has already been falling and is continuing to fall today, this day. Restoration means repair, rebuild, reconstruct, remodel, revamp, make over, upgrade, overhaul, redevelop. What you have had the spiritual eyes to see, the spiritual ears to hear, and the heart to receive, now you are about to live in. You're about to live in it. In Jesus' name, you knew you weren't no grasshopper. You knew who your God was. You were confident in his ability to help you take over the land. Mm. You have been called into the sheepfold by the Father. You have been chosen by him to do mighty works, greater works. And as you go out into these new territories, know you have been sent to enter in by the Most High God. You didn't send yourself just like Joshua didn't send himself. But Joshua had the eyes to see the vision. Because you have the eyes to see the vision, because you have the heart to receive the hope, the confidence in the God that you serve, who was proven to be faithful. He chose you. Mm -mm -mm. Your faith has positioned you for your payout. The Father is releasing the desires of your heart that he himself placed inside of you. What we have to understand, warriors, I gotta pause right here. What we have to understand is the things that we are hoping for today are things that we never thought we would hope for in our past lives. That's what the Father does. He will increase your faith. He will elevate your faith. He will give you a hope. He will give you desires that at one point in time in your life, you never even had the confidence, the courage, the faith to even put your mind on. That's how you know it's God. You didn't think this up yourself. This is what the Father gave to you. He gave you a desire so big that at first, initially, you was like, really, Lord? And he was like, really? He was like, really? Well, those desires are the desires that you are about to see in Jesus' name. The Father is releasing full rain blessings. No limit blessings. Endless blessings to those who have given him permission to have his way, to those who have surrendered their idea of what they should receive for his plan of what he himself purposed for their life in his kingdom. See, others will receive their inheritance 
because of your obedience to not be afraid, because of your obedience to meditate on the word day and night, your obedience to stay close to the Father, your obedience to fear not, to, to fight back with fear with your faith. Your faith is your currency. You are about to be exalted in this land. The Father didn't come here to play no games with us on this 30 for 30. I've been experiencing elevation. I don't even know how I'm going to break down this testimony. I've been hearing testimonies. I've been receiving testimonies. God has been moving and he's not done yet. Warriors, day 25 of this 30 for 30. The Father's wrapping things up. He's bringing things to completion. He's saying full reign blessings to those who will release their ideas and take upon His. Full reign. That means these blessings are going to come from places, spaces, people that you didn't even have the mind to think upon. You didn't even have the mind to fathom. You have to be expected with your head on a swivel because you don't know where the blessings going to come from. The Father has surprised me countless times during these 25 days. I was looking one way for the blessing and he sent it from a whole nother way, a whole nother direction. And it was better than where I was looking. Your territory is endless. He said, wherever your feet touches yours, wherever your mind touches and grabs, it's yours. If you put your mind on it, it's yours. It's bigger than you. People are going to get their inheritance. God chose you because he knew you had the heart to do right by the blessing, the full rain blessing that he's about to drop in your life. Catching in the spirit. We ain't done yet. He's not done yet, boys. I love you. Corinne Graham, listen, if the word blessed you, I always ask, plant a seed of a thumbs up, plant a seed of an amen in the comments. Warriors, we winning today. Look, I already won today, and there's still more hours on the clock. Listen, I'm fired up. I know this is gonna hit somebody else's heart like it hit mine but the father saying full rain blessings so not only is it gonna hit your heart it's gonna hit your land it's gonna hit your hand you're gonna be able to see this thing in jesus name i love you boys talk to you soon